Well, after spending a lot of years just researching Packer history, particularly the early years, going through microfilm, I just I realized there were so many buildings in the Green Bay area, and particularly downtown Green Bay, with uh, just a rich and colorful history associated with the Packers. Um, so a couple of years ago, I wrote a story for the uh, Packer yearbook about it and thought, you know, it would be really great to do something in downtown Green Bay to maybe as a tourist attraction. How many sites total are there and how does it work? Well, there are 22 commemorative plaques in all. Well, we've kind of combined it or divided it into three, uh, three sections. One is kind of a city walk, which is 17 sites, and that's patterned after the Freedom Trail. And they're all in downtown Green Bay, all within about a mile or so of the, the center of the city, although it's technically a, a four and a half mile walk and people walk out to City Stadium. And then two bike spurs. One is the packing plant spur, which goes out to the buildings that were part of the Indian and Acme packing plant when the team started. And then the Lambo Lombardi spur, um, which comes out to St. Norbert. And on the way out here, pay, people can stop at uh, Curly Lambo's gravesite, uh, Lombardi's uh, family home, a group of homes, a little cluster of homes that uh, where Don Hudson and Lambo and Lombardi lived in Alloway, and uh, the Union Hotel in Century Lanes and De Pere. Cliff, let's say somebody wants to go on the on the trail, where do they find out about it, where does it start, where do they get going? Well the trailhead is, um, is at the Neville Public Museum and that's for all, that's for the um, for the, the city walk in particular, but you could start there and bike out here. Um, or you could start at the beginning of the Fox River Trail, which is in downtown Green Bay, uh, near the intersection of Adams and Porlier, and that's where you'd pick up those other sites, uh, starting with Lambo's grave site, and eventually get out here. And I think it's about a 14-mile bike ride altogether. Um, but, you know, let's face it, a lot of people are just gonna drive to the sites, and, uh, you know, this is a beautiful campus, it's a beautiful part of Green Bay. Downtown De Pere is a, you know, is a quaint, little community both on the east and west side so um, you know if people are in town for training camp or whatever it's just I think it's worth just coming over here however you get here to, to, to take a look. Cliff is there any charge for taking the tour? Nope just a self-guided tour and uh, we have a website PackersHeritageTrail.com we're on Facebook and um, we're gonna get brochures up and at the atrium and the Neville Museum to help uh, guide people but I think a lot of it is self-explanatory too, and there's all there's downloadable maps and uh, and directions on our website.